Hello everyone, this is Ali Reza back with a brand new edition of Hashtag Trending, the weekly show where we bring you all the major highlights of the week seen through the lens of social media. So here are this week's hashtags, the stories we'll be talking about today. So if you are ready, let's get right into it. In about a month, the president-elect Joe Biden will officially become the POTUS, or at least that's what the media and his supporters are projecting because the sitting president has no intention of conceding. So in a sense, the presidential race is far from over. Actually, maybe the term race might be a bit of a misnomer here because uh, what is unfolding on the street is more of a full-on confrontation. See for yourself. Twitter is brimming over with similar videos of these violent skirmishes happening in Washington, each one capturing a distinct angle of this sheer madness. So let's start with the first one on Twitter by Media Blackout Elect. It reads, multiple brawls break out between Patriots and Antifa and BLM on the streets of DC. Many BLM and Antifa have retreated behind police protection as a result. All right, let's check it out. Right, that was a little bit anticlimactic, but I promise I won't disappoint with the next one. Uh, by Vengeance, it reads, Tensions get thick between the BLM and Antifa and Proud Boys. All right, let's see what happened here. Okay, so now things are starting to get really aggressive. This next one by Brendan or BG on the scene reads, Proud Boys set fire to the Black Lives Matter banner outside of Harry's in DC. All right, let's check it out. All right, now things are really getting heated. Now, watch this next tweet of a line of Black Lives Matter protesters with shields and barricades and everything clashing with a line of police right in front of them. So the tweet reads by Eric Thomas, Antifa and Black Lives Matter form a line of shields as MPD holds their position. All right, let's check it out. All right, so if you were waiting for things to get personal, then make sure to check out this next tweet by Seek1212. It reads, the back of the blue GOP and Donald Trump supporters are now turning on the cops. All right, let's see what happened here. I know it was probably the last thing on her mind at that situation, but the police, even in such situations, really shouldn't be using that kind of language. So this next one by Pratyush Sayan reads, Antifa sparked violent clashes with Trump supporters in Olympia, Washington. Let's check it out.
Banksy Strikes Again. Here's the elusive British graffiti artist's newest street art. And it's called a chew. Now, in case you need my description for it, it's a mural painted of a sneezing old woman on the exterior wall of a house in Bristol. a story. Malik Issa is nine years old. He's been suffering from constant headaches ever since he lost an eye. He's been wearing a glass eye, but he doesn't like it at all. He liked his own eye much better. It was back in February when he got shot in the left eye by a stray bullet fired by a nearby Israeli soldier. And now Israel says it has insufficient grounds for prosecution, clearing the police of any crime. How very convenient. All right, you heard the story, you watched the video. Now let's check out some tweets about Israel's systemic oppression and systemic abuse of Palestinian people. This first one by hashtag Free Palestine reads, Palestinian children's program, The Best Home, which airs on official PA TV, told its viewers that Israel is deliberately killing Palestinian children, according to a Palestinian media watch report. Now, this really isn't a news flash because Israel has been killing dozens of children every year. Now this next one, which is a little bit old, but the content of it still holds very much true today uh, by Tom Story 7, it reads, Israel treats Palestinian children like terrorists. I really don't know what to say about this next video. Just see for yourself. <laughs> Now, the big media corporations that don't really cover any of this stuff are like, uh, you know, wake me up whenever there's a big explosion. And not even a small one. And even if there's a big explosion, we're probably not going to cover it because that will actually show Palestinians as the victims. So, yeah, we don't do that. This next tweet by Mike Drop reads, how many Palestinian mothers witnessed this scene? I would imagine quite a lot. Now, this uh, last tweet by Abu Noob Aziz reads, freedom should be for everyone, including the Palestinian children. All right, that's been it for this week's edition of Hashtag Trending. If you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Give us a follow here and here. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.